Yes, so. Make we talk. Bada boom, bada bang, baby. Bada boom. What's going on? Hey. Welcome to the Dada Boy Show. Thanks for having me. Hello. It's been a long time coming. It's been a long time coming. You know? Hey, guys. Guys. Guys, Moweya, baby. Let me just tell you, I've been begging Moweya to come on the show for how Begging? Long? No. Yes. You haven't been begging. You won't lie. You haven't been begging. <laughs> <laughs> baby girl, how you doing? I'm great. Good you, to have you back with us. Yeah, I will. After your nice vacation. This is small, small. <laughs> I see me, I'd be like, Una too, you understand? How you been, man? How's work? Been good. Work is good. Work is good. I'm at a really nice phase in my career where, you know, I'm kind of like trying to jump off a springboard on my own. So I'm like, you know, kind of doing what you're doing, yes, you know, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. but you know, I feel like it's, it's quite refreshing to even be here and see how you're doing your podcast, oh. which is completely different to how I am. Yeah. Um, as you obviously know, it's called Spill the Tea with Your Babies. It's got me and my cousin. Yes. Yeah, spill the Tea with mm-hmm. the your Babies. So I feel like this is something that you, the two of you have been doing since you were young. You've been just been gisting. Now, do you know what the interesting thing is? You guys didn't grow up together? Nope. Okay. I, I met Nicole uh, in my adult year. So I was literally like 21. When okay, I met well, her, yeah. and she was about, she was probably about like, I think she was about 15. And then we didn't even really see again until she started working at Sound City. Okay. And that was maybe like a good like three, four years later. So I feel like, yeah, we we, we, we got to know each other as adults. And I feel like that that's a very interesting family dynamic that maybe a lot of Nigerians or maybe even just people are not keen on. Or maybe automatically you think, oh, you guys must have known each other forever. Mm -hmm. But no. And I feel like when you do give um, people a chance to actually get to know each other as adults, especially like family members, you know, the connection ends up being like more organic Mm -hmm. and it doesn't seem so forced. I know, right? Yeah, I mean, like, think about it. How many cousins of yours, like, can't you stand? (laughs) They will still force you. Oh, I, I love cool. I love my cousins. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love my I love my cousins. All of you. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Momo. I right, see. You know what? Let me say my own Mo story. Mm. Sound City has this. Uh, montage. Oh my god, I know. The montage, I call the montage like the Holy Trinity, right? Oh my gosh. And this is way before I got on TV because mm. that montage, it changed the game for urban television in Africa. Not yes, just, it did. In, not just in Nigeria. It actually did. You understand? I do all the time. This is me giving you your roses. Like, before the Holy Trinity, which is you, Adams, and Pearl, mm-hmm. Sound City always had prior VJs. Number fives, six, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Some of the great people that have done this generally. Yeah. Do you understand? Our bros with the braiding hair too. That's <laughs> Mr. Dots. Do you understand? <laughs> so, yeah, so they've been doing it for a minute, but mm-hmm. the Holy Trinity montage. Me you know how to find the soul and the beat in your music. You are well con- connected. Your links are strong. You are like Sound City. <laughs> Me, go say, when I saw it, I was like, this is fucking cool. Yeah, yeah, it was really cool. It was so cool at the time, like, and it really felt very, very nice and refreshing to actually be a part of, as you said, like a movement that really did sort of switch pop culture. Um, a lot of people actually thought we were, like, we would go, we would go places, and we, yeah. I really felt like a star. But then after a while, that montage dragged and dragged and dragged. <laughs> it was on TV forever, though. Yeah, and then... And I, I think they need to play it again. Eh, no, please. They please. do. They do. No, they, they do. do it. What do you mean they do? <laughs> they should play it that again. That montage is my Suruleri video. She says my Suruleri video. I honestly feel so. <laughs> with, with the scarf. We've come a long way. Mo had the scarf with the bounciness like this. We don't even Ooh. dress the same way. <laughs> <laughs> but you still have the hair. The hair. Which is interesting. You still have to. No, I don't still have it. Yes, now the shaving size with the no, line. no, no. My hair was way crazier before. I had like a proper mohawk. Now this is like more of like a cute Halle Berry and Issa Baker cut. Halle so yeah. Halle Berry. <laughs> Halle Berry. <laughs> Halle Berry. Is so yeah, um, I feel like yes, short hair definitely is. Yo, as life. as a fan, please, you gotta tell me about shooting that Holy Trinity montage. I don't think anybody knows this story. And how I always have how I always like. Okay, can I, always I be like, honest? Like, the reason why, in a sense, I like to refer to that as my Sue Leary video is I remember that day of the shoot. I had the worst breakout. Yeah. 
like no 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 like terrible breakout and i remember it was actually yinka obebe shout out to yinka obebe i think now he um runs pop central also um and he was the one who actually you know directed the shoot and it was just so annoying because my skin was horrible and then i had to like you know say you know those words hi i'm away hi yeah. I'm, oh. and i oh, it was it was it wasn't fun but then it was so amazing that no one actually sort of noticed Nah, like no mean? one noticed all the flaws and all the mistakes that actually went down. Bro, the flaws came shoot. with greatness. Yes, baby. it really Jeez. did. <laughs> it really did. Then I remember Adams as well. Um, it was, oh God, Adams has been very, very interesting because mm. you know Adams has been the guy amongst the girls. So obviously, you know us now we'll have to get our makeup done right, yeah. while so fussy about sizing. And Adams just literally just comes. I'm okay, here. Is this what I'm wearing? Okay, okay. this shirt. Okay. And he was literally like ready and done with the shoot. And yeah. Me and Pearl had Adam still had that his puke beard. Yes, the, 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 that 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 the beard died. <laughs> See why I say it's a Suruleri video. He says it's a <laughs> oh my god! But those were good times. Those yeah, were good yeah. times. I swear, if, I can't even lie, man. It did something to me. And it did something for me. Wow. Yeah. Because representation representation matters. Mm-hmm. You understand? Know when you see people that look like you on TV, mm. you understand? Know you'd be like, okay, I've a person like me if you did it. Yeah, so you I can like, do it. So yeah, I can, yeah. It'd be like superhero. Exactly. I've said this before. <laughs> Growing up, we never really had a black superhero. All superheroes are oh, white. Yes, true. Now the superhero friend and be black. So in my mm. mind, I'm like, okay, we we'll go be superhero. We'll be super friend. Hero yes. friend. <laughs> but Wakanda don't come out now. This is just representation. Mm. My five year old nephew or five five year old niece, black... when she sees Wakanda, like An African what? superhero, she be like, okay. Well, I I know Sanofi be Superman because Superman a white man. Mm. That's no, you can be dreaded. Dre- <laughs> You see, this is what she does. This is what she does. <laughs> so yeah, particular representation matter, and you guys did it for me with that video. So shout out to you guys for Thank always you. holding it down. Thank you. I was it was TV something you always wanted to do? In all honesty, no. I actually wanted to be a lawyer. Um, but if but uh, I was one of those kids that was it can't just. It can't be like saying only me no no book for this whole industry. <laughs> Everybody, <laughs> but you know what interestingly enough when i was in school law was one of those subjects that you could do mm-hmm. you could complete go to law school and then just do something completely different different so i feel like you know deep down i knew that i wasn't actually going to end up being like you know a full law full lawyer yeah i knew that i would definitely be somehow somewhat way in entertainment but i only had that dream or at least that revelation while i was actually in law school mm-hmm. so that was when i realized oh my gosh i've literally spent like three years and now i'm about to spend one more year and I don't think this is what I want to, you know, spend the rest of my life doing. I actually would love to be in front of the camera. I'd love to, you know, actually just sort of feel like I'm actually a part of a movement. Mm-hmm. And it was just so crazy. Like, I always tell people this. I was in Manchester in the UK. And I don't know if it was like a dream or something. But I just kept on saying that I will work at Sound City. It was so weird. Like, I kept on saying that I will work at Sound City in Nigeria. So after I was done with law school, I moved back and literally, let's say I moved back in like, I think I moved back July, July or August of, no, my bad, maybe like October um, of um, 2012. Mm-hmm. And literally by December, I had started TV. working at Sound City. And my first job was Everybody Loves Ice Prince's album launch. Oh, a cool yeah. hotel. Yes. <laughs> that was my first ever like thing on the red carpet and i was literally just thrown into the deep end oh, yeah boom do it do your thing yeah damn yeah just like that but beef with the dreams and everything did you have it in mind like okay after school i'll go back or with like it's okay no tv but did did you want to come back to was that one of what, the what, back to school no back to nige Yes, yes, that, that was always intended. That was the plan. While I was while I was in um, law school, I was saying that I wanted to work at Sound City. Okay. I had I didn't know anybody at Sound City. I didn't know anybody in the entertainment industry. You just knew the channel. But I just knew the channel. Mm-hmm. I think I think the only people I knew at the time was Sauce Kid and um, Jesse Jags. Jago. Yeah, and then I knew a few people from Mohits. The first person I knew from Mohits was Doctor Sid. Okay. And yeah, so I guess maybe from the three of them, I sort of heard about Sound City. I don't. I really do not understand How? this thing. 
but that's why I just feel like you know some things are actually just moved by fate and just it's just it's just meant to be and that was what it was and you auditioned though yes I did audition and you remember like, who auditioned you uh, it was Olamide okay yeah um, who was our channel manager at the time um, I auditioned and he then just was like okay cool he's gonna send the video to my boss my boss watched it he loved it and he hired me straight up that was literally it <laughs> that was I literally it. it. I love it. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. So I just feel like I was I was destined to do, um, and this was this journey was mm-hmm. destined to be this way. But something, something made you like uh, Sound City. Yes. Yes, because I I, I okay. It, in, in all honesty, I sat down. I was like, okay. So where are no the no popping? no not Sound City, but something made you like TV. Yes, something made me like TV. What um, was that? I feel like I've always been very, very good with my diction. Okay. I've always been very, very yeah, good. Yeah, you you sabi. <laughs> that one. <laughs> she does. I've always been very, very good with my diction. Mm-hmm. Um, I've always, I've always been able to act. Like I always tell people that I'm, I'm actually a better actress than I am a presenter. Um, so when I'm even presenting, I feel like I'm acting. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, sometimes we do. Yeah. So I, I, I sort of, I, I always just knew that I needed to be in front of the camera, and. It was just one of those things where I just felt, hey, okay, acting, I've, you know, given it a try in school. I've gone for different acting classes, gone to drama this, drama that, but I've never done anything in broadcasting. Mm. And I just really wanted to just give it a try. Mm. And why not music? I absolutely love music. I wish I could create music. Um, but one thing I do know is that I can critic um, mm. music. So why not do something like this? So that was how I got into it. Okay. So the move, I know you've, been, you've done a couple of moves. Yes. Though. But, but you didn't put like yo for Jesse. No, I actually did put quite a bit of effort in the movie scene. But at the time when I came in, there was a lot. Maybe maybe people don't say this, but there was a whole lot of sexual sexual harassment, and there was a lot of that. And I just honestly couldn't deal with it because oh, wow. I I don't like to be in a position where the way I look or whatever is the reason as to why I got. The gig. A gig. Yeah. I want to get it. Because I deserve Because it. I deserve it. There you go. And I felt like, no, I don't deserve to be here. <laughs> and that was right in your face. Yes, it was right in my face. And you know, honestly, it's so funny. Like, a whole bunch of the actresses that are popping now, I literally started with them. Yes, the Beverly Nyas. I did a couple of movies with Inia Do. Um, who else again? Um, Sean Fakwa. Rosie Mura. The, like, the... the there's so many people that I literally actually, you know, worked with, but it just didn't click for me. And I just didn't want to be around that sort of vibe or energy. Damn. Yeah. Took, took uh, TV to another level. So, yeah, I decided to do that instead. Yes. How much, like, how much do you like TV, though? I really do like TV, but then I then found another love. And that was radio. radio. Yes. Yeah. Um, and I loved radio because for once I wasn't being judged about how I look. Okay. You know, and I feel like that's also been something that has been a huge part of my journey or my story. I'm always going to be criticized on how I look. Whether that was also maybe my own doing, because you know, like it's the way you come out that people, like you know, maybe if you if you put your best foot forward, people always expect yeah. that best foot. Do you know what I mean? So I loved radio because I could actually just be myself just chill. and I could speak. I didn't have to dress up. I didn't have yeah, to. And but it's, it's the radio goddess. It's not as if you dress down. <laughs> you understand? When she says she doesn't have to dress, she's still like giving you like still swagoo, but it's radio. There's no it's camera. radio. Yeah. Yeah. I understand, I understand <laughs> what you're saying. I totally understand what you're saying. Like there's no cameras. You're more relaxed. So mm-hmm. now I'm guessing like you get reactions where people will be like, Oh, that's this is you. And yes. your voice. Yes. And and that that's a sort of appreciation for my talent yes, that right. I feel that I didn't necessarily get from TV, but I got so much from radio. And I like when people say, Oh my gosh, you sound so much like your radio voice. I'm like, what did you expect? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is how I speak. Do you know what I mean? So What's the biggest oh my oh my gosh that you get? My biggest oh my gosh is oh 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 my gosh, you're taller. Like you look on TV, I'm like, okay. Like, I think my biggest, oh my gosh, is that people always are like, wow, you're so much nicer in person. 
that's like a like a misconception right a major misconception about me i actually think that i'm actually one of the sweetest people in the world but i'm extremely guarded mm -hmm. i'm very untrusting and i don't i don't i just don't i also don't really like being pretentious I don't see the point of going anywhere or just shining your teeth for no reason. <laughs> like, Jeremy, you know I mean? like... No, but it's not as if you go to places and you frown your face. Though. No, you... I don't. But I've got this thing called resting bitch face where it seems like I'm angry or I'm mm. upset, but mm. I actually am not. It's just... That's just... That's just my go-to face. It's just the go-to face. <laughs> it's just my... It's my go-to face. So basically, you're saying people think you're a bitch. Yes, people always <laughs> think I'm a bitch. And I'm just like, no. <laughs> but to be honest, I actually don't mind. I actually like it. I think the fact that people think that I am a bitch has sort of made people sort of... Keep a little bit distance. Yes, okay. and that distance I like. I like to confuse people. I like the fact that people also um, think they have me all figured out. But mm. they really don't. Mm. Mm. I like to surprise people. So you're like a magician. You always have like an extra card under your sleeve. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, darling. Definitely. <laughs> so definitely, darling. Definitely. Okay, so you didn't want to do the acting because of that single situation. Mm -hmm. You did TV. You're loving it. Radio. Killing, killing it. it loving it. Traveling the world. Mm -hmm. Posting shows in different places in mm -hmm. the world. Like, what kind of, ex what excites you now? What excites me now, in yeah. all honesty, is actually working on my own content. Mm. Something that is mine. Like, I feel like all my TV experience or all my radio experience has been, you know, done according to what the channel wants mm. or what the station wants. Now that I'm now creating content for myself, I can definitely, you know, sort of change that mm. misconception. Not that I'm fighting to change it. Like, if you want to think whatever you want to think about me, to be honest. But I know that... There's no better storyteller than yourself. Mm -hmm. So with my content or with what I'm now ready to put out, mm -hmm. um, I feel like people will get to know me better. I know you're a stern person because obviously you don't really go with what people say. Like, no. Yeah, in this line of business, if you do, you would crumble. Yes, definitely. You would definitely crumble. You will definitely crumble. Because Especially if you are someone that is very individual. Um, someone that doesn't want to stick to the status quo, you know, <laughs> somebody that likes to pull out that last card. Yeah, you will not. Moe, Abib, did you, where did you grow up? It was a mix of here and in England. Mm -hmm. um, I was born in England. Um, obviously, I did like, you know, the first like few pre-years, maybe about two years in England. Mm -hmm. Then came so back to Nigeria. Okay. And then um grew high up, school yeah grew no no did primary school here okay um that was i went to primary um corona um went there for a bit then went back to england went to um secondary school then came back again um <laughs> and went to Darwin for a little bit for like a year and then went back again and got into uni and he did law and then yes, I did law, and then I went into law school. Yeah, so a full mix, London. full mixture of Nigeria and Ghana. yes, I definitely had like because mm -hmm. even when I was in school abroad, I used to always come back for holidays, Christmas holidays, all well, those Christmas parties. I used to be there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be there. That's how I know that club. Like, I'm guessing yes, because like, I used to go there. <laughs> <That's how I laughs> I know the club. You could have done TV on, in Janj. I could have. But. but I like a challenge. And at the same time, you know, obviously I was getting that whole pressure from family. And I'm quite a rebellious one, you know. Like, you know how you said, just said that I don't like to do what mm -hmm. people tell me to do as well. I literally don't really like to, you stone, know. Stone cold. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is what I want to do. This is what I want to do, mom and dad. Like, this mm -hmm. is what I want to do. You know, you're not. No, this is my life. So I, I always sort of had that and... I just felt like I really wanted to sort of prove a point that I didn't need to be successful by going through their own, you know, way or their own idea of how to do it. Mm -hmm. So that's why I took on the challenge to actually come to Nigeria, a place that I wasn't used to living, um, to change the narrative. And I think I did. I'm sure Momsi was running mental at the beginning. Absolutely mental. At the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely absolutely mental. she ah no she had ah, she gave me a tough time no fam every family member called me i said what is it that you want to do at the times if i was i was even saying oh i want to just be a designer just because i did I, they didn't understand what i was saying <laughs> they were like oh i was like okay yes i want to be a fashion designer like if that at least you understand that because you don't seem to get what a tv presenter is yes. 
Do you know what I mean? And then I now like cleverly made sure that I did my NYSC in Sound City. Yeah. So at least I got that one year experience as well. And then obviously they retained me and boom. Boom, here we are. I can imagine Momsi seeing the first video of you on TV. She was actually quite impressed. Yeah, there will be. She was impressed. Um, but it, it, interestingly enough, it was literally about like three or four years after I had actually, you know, um, been working on TV that my mom actually accepted mm -hmm. that I was a TV presenter. I remember we would travel together sometimes. You know how you fill your immigration form? You know, and she would put lawyer. And I'm like, mom, I'm not a lawyer. I'm a, I'm not a lawyer. <laughs> Yeah. I've been doing this for four years. <laughs> so it was literally one of my aunties that hit me up and was like, that she's so happy that I actually stood my ground, that she even knows that I, what, that she personally was trying to like put me off the whole idea. But mm -hmm. she's really, really happy that I actually stood my ground. And here I am doing well. So Doing very well. And I feel like that's the thing with parents. You have to sort of show them. Yeah. You've got to convince them. Yeah. You, and in all honesty, I don't blame them. They're coming from a completely different yeah. um, you know, era Time, where yeah. Yeah. they didn't, like, most broadcasters didn't make it well. I think that, I think even most popular broadcasters were on radio. Maybe a few will be on, like, you know, the TV, like, 9 p.m. news shows. She said 9 p.m. I'm just saying. <laughs> but they wouldn't be, like, on a music channel doing countdowns, uh. you know, uh, making a living do you get what i mean like she just didn't seem to get it but after a couple of years i guess i had to just throw it in her face and make sure that i was good at it yeah they are super proud now. yeah definitely they are definitely super proud okay so this is like a tv question do you think the game is fair to tv presenters when it comes to generally respected generally getting bookings no mm -hmm. I don't think so. Um, the reason why, especially with TV presenters, um, a lot of people um, don't know the difference between a TV presenter and an event host, an MC. Okay. They're like ev everywhere, they're all different. And I feel like a lot of people are also using different talents to be TV presenters. So it's almost like uh, if a musician, I don't know, an LAX can do your job, then people will start wondering, that means we don't need... We don't need a he's them. Do mm -hmm. you know what I'm trying to say? But in all honesty, there's so many tricks to the game that you know from experience that, let's say, LAX won't know mm -hmm. if you want it to be a presenter. And I feel like that's why we're not respected. It's almost looked as a job that, oh, yeah, anybody can do it now. It's not just to just hold mic. Anybody can do it, you know? So, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think we are respected at all, especially, cons especially even... Especially like VJs, because I feel like we are part of the process. Yes, ma'am. We are definitely a part of the pyramid. Do you know what I mean? Okay, you have the artist at the top, but you know, there's so many shows I've gone for where they don't give a hoot about where the event or the anchor is going to stay. At all. No, if they want You don't even to. have a green room. You don't know they don't care about you. You don't even have a green but room. The artists, they will be down to bring even mm -hmm. the biggest mobile police to pick them up from the airport. You Bruh. go to the airport and you realize that they didn't book your return. Yeah. So all those type of things still happen. Bruh. It even your, it's happened even, fairly even recently. Even your to TV me, so. station treats the, treats the artists better than you. Straight Real up talk. facts. Real talk. It's like... <laughs> what? Real talk. Hello. Every, every, like, <laughs> Hello. I get it. The artist is content, but mm -hmm. we own the content. We own the content. We we create it. We make it Put happen. Put it together. Make it exactly. happen. Make it look nice. We're almost like the narrators you of, of it all. I get so it. So if we don't... In, like, if you don't introduce African giants... <laughs> like... If you don't tell the world that African giants... Dropped an album. <laughs> then how will the world know? Do you know what I mean? So I just feel like... We should be respected a bit more. Like it's I, this thing you said about they didn't book the it hasn't happened to me, Sha. I didn't mm. book the but they didn't book the return for some. Ah, it's happened to me fairly recently. I'm like, like mm, it still happens. What do you mean? Like my ticket, my ticket has to be a uh, two and fruit ticket. It can't uh, be a one way ticket. Lie lie. These guys actually deceived us into believing that they had books a return for us. Damn. Yeah. And it was literally okay. You you did this whole serere to pick us up from the airport, came with mobile police, full entourage, all that stuff. And then time to go. We're calling you. Hello. 
hello you're not answering your phone you're forming that you're sleeping then we then like literally hustle to go get like just random taxi then we get to the airport and after he was oh no you see the, you, uh, the flight uh, that's a fake ticket it doesn't exist what? so you have to now buy a brand new ticket oh it's only business class that anyway not like i wasn't gonna travel on business class but you know what i mean oh only business classes is available mm. are you this for is... real it still happens oh hell no it still happens oh he- eh yeah we go drag this ah we go what i was a mad person in what airport was it again i think it was port oh. but telling me that i have to go to where by road i'm booking on a flight can you imagine can you imagine <laughs> before we say can you imagine <laughs> a whole I said, radio not possible, don't worry oh how much is the ticket oh, okay it's 100k okay guess what i'm gonna buy a ticket for myself and my personal assistant because i'm not gonna leave her here am i yeah. so 200k just like that it's crazy well, nah they ain't gonna do that to me yeah. well i don't know sha Maybe not yet. You can never tell. You got ah, not the team. Me too. I used to always say they wouldn't. You do it can to never me. tell. I always tell you're not, you're not the first person I'm asking. The first VJ mm-hmm. that I'm asking about this, and the person always I spoke to us saying say, say the same thing. Like the disrespect is sometimes is to another level. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? Like you get, and it's like they do it on purpose. It's like you you get booked your hotel get booked late. You probably mm-hmm. like sometimes you understand. Like, you're just the one that is always like. The, the room is the tiny. plus like you're just like oh, yeah, okay. yeah 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 and nine they nine they host mm, the show mm. the room is and i'm like um oh, don't care about what's, you what's, at all but i like how a lot of people now are in a sense you know putting out rate cards you know there was a time when people didn't even have rate cards yes ma'am. and i feel like that's also maybe a reason why they do look down on us a little bit because i feel like it's only fairly recently that a lot of us have tried to now actually take branding seriously seriously mm-hmm. especially radio presenters a whole bunch of radio presenters don't give a heck, heck about, about branding about branding and obviously if you don't show the world that you take yourself seriously mm-hmm. they're not going to take you seriously and that's also one of the reasons why i decided to call myself the goddess because if you don't you know come into a room and let people know who you are mm. how are they like they're not you can't expect them to treat you to treat you well did you but, have that name before radio to be honest yes i was actually sort of i i tried to um let it go on tv or like like you know push the name on tv that was screen goddess mm-hmm. i tried but that yes. didn't click That's but it clicked immediately on radio radio goddess so yeah and then now i've actually trademarked it and it's just the goddess the goddess so yeah nobody so can no call more, themselves goddess so it's no more the, the radio god you still call yourself the radio goddess. i still call myself the radio goddess but you, you can't like you can't call yourself the mask goddess or the something goddess now because the goddess is trademark you don't have to tell them let them <laughs> let them make money off yes it. please then, <laughs> let them make money off it <laughs> that's crazy you know i'm waiting go and try that that boy please <laughs> help me <laughs> have you trademarked as well hell yeah, yeah, yeah we can't be out here with it calling the name so mm-hmm. loud like that and mm-hmm. you understand it's a whole process you know anything in nigeria is a whole process yeah bro. you stick with it along the line you get where trademarked and registered and life goes on mm-hmm. and you understand so it's crazy man and how many states have you been to in nigeria oh wow you know i haven't actually sat down to think about it but, but a lot but not not as much as you may think more than 15 yes. maybe yes i would say like more than 15 ma- but maybe not so much maybe just like 16 or 17 more but than, not probably more than you think i haven't gone to a lot of places in the north so that's why i okay. don't feel like my number is that high yeah but that's still a lot of numbers you go to most yes. of the places but most in the places west. in the southwest in the yeah. southwest mm-hmm. they go, that's, a, that, that's a whole yeah. lot of states yeah quite a number for work right yes for work mostly mostly actually all the time i how, don't how, really... how about africa africa oh wow i've gone to i think i there was a time i counted and i realized i'd gone to about 17 or so there you go yeah there you go Africa. you see how important was it for you to travel inside nigeria because for me it was the best thing ever. really because i used to do that as a student mm. when we, were in I used, we used to go like to other neighboring like delta from mm-hmm. Edo, go to delta go to papa court you know, but it's just some student miscreant lifestyle right? i still feel like i haven't traveled enough because in all honesty with work work was so crazy that even when you did go and this is also part of the presenting um, yes. issues you know 
most of these artists, their show is on Saturday. They will Ooh. come in on Thursday. But if it's the presenter of the show, he's coming in that day. <laughs> Why? So that was always sort of the experience. So even if I went to this new stage that I've never been to before, I would go in for work, mm-hmm. probably get in a few hours before the job. Yeah. Then early in the morning, I'm back to Lagos. So I don't really feel sometimes that I've actually experienced mm-hmm. um, some places, especially in Nigeria. And you made like you just leave, it's in and out. Mm-hmm. You don't go sightseeing, nothing no, like that. Maybe just once in a while. Me, I get, me, I get coconut. Head. But not mm-mm. Ah, me, straight I, to I, work. Uh-uh. Yeah. We outside. <laughs> we outside. The streets be Get calling. <laughs> the streets be calling. <laughs> it was so important to me because there's a treatment you get outside Lagos. Do you understand? Like, there's a beautiful treatment mm. you get outside Lagos. Mm-hmm. Being someone that's a little bit famous. Mm. Is it, there's True. That, that, there's a treatment you get. Yes, I like. I got the first person. Like, oh my god, I never forget this. This guy was literally about like six foot five. And he saw me and he just burst into tears. I think it was like in Oweri or somewhere. And I was like, wow, nobody cries for me in Lagos. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that was it's that a, was it's a quite different cool. kind yeah, of definitely it's a different, different kind of screaming. It's a different mm-hmm. kind of touch me. Mm-hmm. Like like I'm like, okay. True. And if you want crazy screaming and touch me. You should go to all these other parts of Africa, like but Mali. It's intense. It's crazy. It's intense. Mali was so crazy. I'll never also forget you. Um, not Uganda. Um, oh, forgotten, forgotten. Monrovia is the capital. Monrovia. Liberia. Liberia. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. I'll never forget oh Liberia. My God, Liberia I went to was Liberia. crazy. We did it. The show was at the beach. It was a sea of heads. Like it they had this artist, crazy. um, EFA, 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 so we're not doing that. Mm. Yeah, I remember I went to the radio station with Blue. Oh my god, gosh, I loved every single, every it's, single it's, second it's, of it's it. It's always quite different, and, and you know, when you do go out and you see the love that you do get, it sort of reminds you that you are doing something right because you know, sometimes in Lagos, especially in Nigeria, they don't mm. like to like praise their own outright. It's only maybe when their own is outside or competing with outside, and they'll be like, oh, yes, mm. he or she is Nigerian. So it's always nice, refreshing to see like how other people sort of actually appreciate your art. Yes, yeah, so um, it's yeah. crazy. I love it. Okay, this question. This is someone just sent me a question. Oh wow! Okay. It said, "Do you jump up when you wear your jeans?" Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> but you know something also quite interesting. I don't wear jeans as much as I maybe would or I should. Um, oh, you have seen you wear jeans? Yes, like you will see me. Yeah, you know why. Because I uh, getting dressed up is stressful. Jeans is just well. Oh, if you gotta jump up and down, boo. Ah, uh, <laughs> should be Beyonce talk. I'm safe. You know the jump inside. You know me. No talk to them. I don't know. Not like, stressed. stressed. But you, you are thickums now. Come yes, on. Yes, I am. Now. You're thickums. I prefer to wear my nice bodycon dresses mm. as opposed to like. I don't know. I feel like jeans just packs everything. It's just it's like, it's uh, and it's too hot, man. Nice. <laughs> it's too hot. <laughs> Another thing is the fashion. The fashion with you has been crazy since the beginning. Thank how you. important? How important was that? Because I think I've always, I've always been very. I don't want to. I don't. I don't like to call myself. I don't see myself as a fashionista. fashionista. I always but tell you people, do, you go wear nice clothes. But uh, yeah, like yeah. I feel like I've got my own style. I've got. I've got what I like. I know mm-hmm. what suits my body. Mm-hmm. I know what doesn't. Um, ah, the internet always tells you that, doesn't? Don't they? Don't they? The internet. The internet. Whenever she posts them pictures, God. What's God? <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, like, you know, I, I wouldn't say it's been a part of, but it's also still part of branding and imaging. Like, mm-hmm. you dress how you want to be addressed. So yeah, I've always just made an effort. Like, I, I want people to see me in a certain way as a powerful woman who is not afraid to, you know, show her sexuality. And that is also something that I feel is also a part of my dress sense as well. Um, you know, you know how Nigerians can just be very really like, oh my God, it's too revealing, it's too this. But I just feel like there's tasteful, like there, there are ways to be tastefully sexy. Mm. And I think, I think I've mastered it. Hello. <laughs> I've never heard that one before. Tastefully sexy. <laughs> I have never heard that before. Tastefully sexy. Yeah. Tastefully. Okay. How, how does that go? 
Like you just you just know what to wear, when to wear, mm. and it's always sexy. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I like it. With your dress sense, do you think you'll have been like a a very good stylist? No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna be a you stylist. Like no. Put all of them in khakis. Mm-mm. Yeah, Mm-mm. you put that person. I would just I feel like I would make if I was a stylist, I would make people dress the way. I dress and I would also only want to work with a certain type of body type plus size what I'll be a plus size stylist <laughs> <laughs> yeah what do you mean oh yeah, well, yeah. yes Shit. they and I am actually working to do something for my plus size queen okay so you're having like a brand come out yes very soon how soon hopefully fingers crossed next year okay there you go you know, son. Mm-hmm. Good luck on that. That Thank one's you. A, that one's a, was a slam too. Yeah, I'm You're sure ready. It will. What would you be called? The goddess. Hmm. When when the time is right, you'll mm. know. I don't want to let the cat out of the yeah, bag just yet. Okay. We also like sundress season. When is sundress season? We go to Mo's Instagram. Oh my gosh. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Why? Why? Why do you have to come to my Instagram? Go to our Instagram when it's sundress. Why? At- it's sundresses all around in Nigeria. All around in Nigeria. But why specifically Mo's Instagram? Ah. <laughs> Shady bala bala. Shady bala bala. What? Mo, well, you got, and do you know what? I am not gonna do that. Do you is know? She... Like a lot of people always. I remember that. What was that? Um, that red. Drop it. That red challenge. She said the red they challenge. They said I should do that one. Why? Why? What was it called again? Um, wait, silhouette wait, wait, challenge. Silhouette challenge. Okay. Put your uh, nana they said I should also do the drop it one. Anything to do with booty. They will tell me to do it, but guess what? I don't do it. What do you mean anything to do with booty? Like any of these challenges to do with booty. They're like, oh yeah, I'm going to do it. You should to be nice. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Like, oh, they're going to help a lot of men going through things. You know, like dress stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, guys. <laughs> so yeah, just in, you, you see, know. Mo's IG is therapy. <laughs> a lot of men are going through things. And you but go to I... Mo's IG and what? I really don't see this hype that you guys are saying. You know, uh-uh. like, no, because if you see yourself, I feel really like there's so, there's so many girls on it. Like Instagram is. I don't argue. Say, hey, I don't argue. Hey, hey. But there's so many girls. They're not there yet now. Shoot, I know. I tire for you. <laughs> they're not. I don't argue. I don't argue. <laughs> Plus, we never go votal. Yes, I owe you a voter trip. You're gonna Volta. love it. Uh-huh. You're gonna love it with the OG. Um, Shalala. <laughs> Smoking, that's my mashallah. dog that's that my dog that's yeah that's I owe that you that trip we hey. should do it we should do it Volta. What, is, what is it with you and Ghana and Ghana yeah Ghana like Burner Boy said God lives there I feel Burner Boy said that yes he did he I said it in, in, there was an interview it was actually I think it was on Apple so with that oh, okay. lady um, yeah God really like, especially on the beach, especially in Volta. Volta. Those areas where there's water and mm-hmm. there's vegetation. There's a whole Ghana, Rasta village. Yeah, yeah, and Ghana has really, really maintained, mm-hmm. um, especially West African culture. They've really, really maintained it, especially, um, you know, compared to, in all honesty, us. You know, and I really just love Ghana. They're just so receptive. They are very hospitable. Yeah. Like I just always have a good time, and I just feel like I can just let my hair down, and I'm not so far away from home. At all. Yeah. An hour away. Yeah, but the jollof rice still ain't shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not. Don't argue. I'm not. Please, no, I don't I'm want telling... to, I don't want people to go for me. Please. No, I know they will come. They can no, come for me. No, they would like. I really please. Our Nigerian jollof rice, jollof rice is, is amazing. It's better. Our, it's our much jollof better. Rice is better than the, the, the what is Ghana jollof? Like, I mean, I've never eaten it to be honest. You haven't? Of course I have. <laughs> <laughs> Of course I have. <laughs> oh my god! All right, so spilling the tea mm-hmm. with their babies. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, your cousin. Yes. Very beautiful girl, by the way. Yeah, who uh, you have a crush on, apparently. No. Yeah, Nicole. What? Ne- oh, you're denying wait, it now. I'm not denying it. I you said that there was what sexual I, tension. I, I don't worry. Let me explain myself. <laughs> we used to crush on each other. Well, how come I didn't know that she was crushing on you? She didn't tell you now. 
Why would she anything. tell me? She would Nicola, tell me. I spilled the tea to her. I just, I, <laughs> nice one. I just did joke. Okay, so um, yeah. What are you, what tea are you guys spilling? Well, to be honest, I, I know like most people think it's a gossip show. It is not a gossip yes. show. Mm-hmm. It's actually just a show in a sense that touches on topics that a lot of us are not really mm-hmm. like talking about. And if we are, we're not talking enough about it. Um, about it. So um, topics like you know consent, um, when no means no, in all honesty, and all the different angles to it, mm-hmm. um, um, transactional sex, um, sexual education, but not necessarily to oh yes, doggy style and this one and that one. Mm-hmm. More about you know knowing your sexual boundaries, yeah, y- using protection, yeah, and just having like a healthy relationship um, with sex. Um, we even have um, even more serious topics like you know stereotyping, and that's when we even go somewhat way. We touch we touched on you know SARS and whatnot, but then that's just you know how young people are just in general always stereotyped yeah. really quickly put in a box. I'm sure oh. you stereotype because of your beautiful, lovely hair. You know. Oh, thank you. Yes, I, I always compliment your hair. Oh, you. you know this. <laughs> I call you the black Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Out here. <laughs> So yeah, we touch on you know serious topics like that, and then mm. even as serious as how to make money um, the right way as a young person. I absolutely love that um, episode because mm. I feel like a whole bunch of people are gonna gain a mm. lot of, of things. So that's what it is. It's really about spilling the tea, oh. and then when we have guests, okay. you know, they give their own insight. Okay. Um, we had Osas talking about relationship dynamics. Um, so we spoke about you know how a lot of the young people are in a sense dealing with breakups mm-hmm. um calling each other out on social media mm-hmm. all that type of stuff but yeah that, that's an episode you should look out for i will definitely look out for that yeah it was quite nice having no sass you yeah. know somebody that's you know doesn't really spill tea she spilled the tea she spilled, she, spilled, she, spilled, she, 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 she tried drops yeah, like i won't say it was drops i'll say maybe um maybe just a sprinkle <laughs> it was actually me i was like pro- i was probably like oh, sass. Say some, say more, say more. <laughs> and um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. So yeah, spilling the tea. It's a full season. Um, we've we've recorded a full season, so that's thirteen episodes. Mm. Um, yeah, and I, I feel like um, people are gonna love it. It's very animated. There's a lot of graphics, mm-hmm. a lot of animation. It's a good thing, especially for me, because now people can really see. Yeah. How I am because I'm actually a mad person. On that show. <laughs> she says she's actually a mad person. I'm actually it is. a mad person. And it's crazy because people don't know that you are very funny. <laughs> like, Mo is a clown. I'm telling you, half of the time, she's not serious. The only time she's probably serious is when the advert has finished or she hears action. <laughs> Yes, yeah, you man. Even like literally when I'm about to start anything, I'm always joking. She's never, fo- never. And I literally realized that I'm actually a very sexual person. Yes, man. Like after shooting this show, because I was like, everything I can always find something awkward, embarrassing, mm-hmm. sexual, whatever. Okay, what is one thing sexually that a guy shouldn't do to a girl? Not aside from the whole bad things just um, when you're in when you're doing things yeah. please like if you are partaking in conilingus <laughs> <laughs> conny 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 <laughs> do not bite her clitoris is the least you can do like they, they bites, said they like... said eat but it didn't mean literally bite yeah, some, like I don't know why some people have. I have never mixed heard anybody. Use, really, you've never like, heard? No, 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 heard no, no, of anyone? Not eat, like not. But somebody say they said eat. But in that context, <laughs> I've never heard it before. They said eat, <laughs> but not like. <laughs> but not literally. Yeah. Yeah. I also learned t- lately that some women don't like being eaten. And I was like, what? I thought that was like pleasure to you guys. Well, I I've, also learned today. To be honest, the female body is so amazing. Mm. So who am I to say? Yeah. You just haven't got. Oh, it but right. I do know. I, I do know someone that doesn't like blowjobs. A guy. Yes. And I, I, I also. And know a his of reason people. is very. Yeah. Like and like what? He was bitten. No. Oh. He's extra large. So it can't fit in anyone's mouth. It's it's half of the time they try. He said they try. But it's always very uncomfortable. The next thing I'm gonna say is gonna sound weird, but it's true. He's been in a relationship for like they were they've been dating for like they are married now. They were dating mm-hmm. like maybe six years. They're married mm-hmm. now. Mm-hmm. You understand? But you know when the size of your dick doesn't allow you cheat? Wow, that's a beautiful thing. 
That's and I'm and I'm I'm telling you this. I'm, it's, <laughs> That's a beautiful thing. Someone, this is for real. I'm not joking. Wow, where so can many, we sign up? So it's like <laughs> it's like there are few people. Mm-hmm. You understand? That okay? They 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 I yeah they tried, but half of the time. How do you know this? He's like it's like you know friend. this person yes, personally. They, yeah, personally, I've known him for more than twenty years. Yeah. Are you sure this person is not here? No, 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 no. Okay, okay. No, just, no, no. just check. Twenty years, <laughs> more than twenty years. Okay. And on, I'm telling you. Well, he should take it as a blessing. It it's is. Good. No, no, no. Because it at is. least he will get out of trouble. <laughs> it's true. Because in all honesty, I, I was even waiting for you to even ask me that question. Which one is better, bigger? Yeah. Which one is bigger? A man that is smart knows how to. Oh use no, it. no, no. In all honesty, I know, size, I know, the, I know the answer to that size, question from my own. Size is, size is. I, I, it doesn't matter. It matters. It does matter. That's Science what I'm matter. saying. Excuse so, me. Yeah, so like the bigger, the better. It's very simple. Say so you want chop rice, they can't give you one small meat. You exactly. Go, you go the verse. Even if ah. the rice is sweet, ah. but the meat on top it's of the rice, small. No, it'd be no. like a few like no, this. No, 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 no. You understand? That's not sweet now. You understand? No, no, no. I see me talking about it like I'm be taking it. I don't be taking it. Please, <laughs> please <laughs> scratch that away from your mind. I <laughs> don't. Dead. <laughs> but yeah, but some women will say size don't matter. So, well, shout out to those women, man. Size and so the bigger the better. Yeah. But to a certain size, not like a monster truck. And obviously, nobody wants a monster truck. Hmm. But some people are monster truck. But some won't. people don't mind. Some people are up for the challenge. Hey, guess <laughs> yeah, Mosaida, eh, Mosaida, hello, we're going to learn streets. But it's cool. Yeah, so we can't wait to see the show spilling the tea. Yes, of course, yes. we can't wait for everything you touch. Anytime you want, please come through. Oh my gosh, of yes. course. Now that I know like how cliche you are. Yeah, we can have a dedicated episode. We can talk about anything you want Yay! to talk about. You know what I mean? And Mo is also a very good sport when it comes to games. Like drinking. Yes. Games and yeah. You but, should. You should. But yeah. you don't. You don't. I don't, don't drink. drink. So yeah, how so are I'd we gonna the, have fun? I'd be in the corner. Games. I'd be in the corner. Or I'm. Or, or I employ myself as the games master. Mm. So I share cards. But then if it's just me and you, how? how no, no, not you. I mean like games. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah but then if I come on the show and we're gonna play drinking games. How oh, we can it? play drinking game on the show. Why not? We'll look for another game to play. We'll have other games. I was don't gonna worry. say something else, but I don't want to say. What? What else? A smoking game. A smoking game. <laughs> Um, that I don't know. Hell no, I ain't doing that with you. <laughs> she said, Hell no. <laughs> oh my god. All right, man, it's been crazy. Yes, Thank it you has. for coming. Thank you for having me. Everywhere, when the show comes out, please, 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 please go and watch it. And of course, you can catch it on the radio Sound City from two, two, to, two, six. two to six every day, two, Monday every to day, Friday. Two to six. And guess what? When we come back from the uh, the job sometimes from the mainland, you know, son, I always message you now. Yes, you like, do. Be like, ah. yeah, you're actually such an awesome listener. <laughs> I love it when uh, he's is listening. Like you're always encouraging me. You're like, yeah, go girl, yeah. I love that link. That's one. <laughs> yeah, <I swear. laughs> that's my shit. Like I said, when you just boom boom because people people listening, they just listen to it like, oh, they listen to it. Mm-hmm. But me, I'm listening to like intonation, mm-hmm. how you are bouncing off the off mm-hmm. your your, your bed, bed and mm-hmm. stuff like that. I'm like, mm-hmm. that's my girl. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, man, you're killing it, man. So shout out to you. you know what I'm I'll be your guy. Anytime you meet me, I highlight your boy. I know this boo. Highlight your boy. Thank you. All right, man. Yo, we out. That our boy show. Remember, subscribe, follow us, leave a comment. We love you. Stay blessed. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs>